OpenAI is not happy with Robinhood right now because Robinhood just launched a crypto version of OpenAI stock. Now, Robinhood just dropped something massive in Europe, giving people access to private equity for the first time ever. Now, they're offering tokenized shares of OpenAI and SpaceX, companies that aren't even listed on the stock market. So, how are they doing this? It's very simple. It's blockchain plus Europe's relaxed investing rules. And OpenAI is not exactly very thrilled about this because their stock is not public. And right now, anyone in Europe can own a piece of them, or at least a token that represents the value. And it's raising big legal questions around intellectual properties, control and consent and all that stuff. Now, normally only insiders or billionaires get access to these private deals. But this particular move is trying to break the gatekeeping and democratize investing into top companies before they even IPO, potentially removing the hype and take values away from IPOs themselves. However, one important thing to know, these tokenized shares are not stocks. They don't come with voting rights. They just represent indirect exposure through an SPV. Now, for example, the SPV holds actual shares in OpenAI. The token represents fractional interest in Robinhood's stake in the SPV. So the token that you buy is pretty much just a synthetic asset that tracks the value of OpenAI. So what can we expect? Now, the US won't see this anytime soon, mainly because there's way too many regulations with the SEC, but this does open doors. Could tokenized private equity be the future of investing? Now, we know that rules do get loose and companies always find their way around loopholes when it's the last two years of the bull market cycle, which we are in right now. So it's very likely the case again that companies soon will make more tokenized versions of more private companies and real estate. Now, if you do plan to get into this, if it opens up in the US or Australian market, make sure that there's a way to know that the company offering the token as a third party or the SEC auditing how they reflect the value of the private company through the token. Therefore, always do your own research. And since these tokens are not publicly listed, there's no market consensus, there's no real-time disclosures, and there's no audited valuations. Therefore, the price of the token can be speculative, manipulated, or based on hype rather than fundamentals. And lastly, if Robinhood does malfunction, you could lose your token entirely with no investor protection. Well, there you have it. Do let me know what you think of tokenization of private companies in the comment section down below. And if you want to see further insights about cryptos, real estate, finance, economy, make sure to follow me for more.